was a renaissance man. A do-it-yourselfer, a chef and a quilter, an author and fisherman too. And don't forget Master Gardener. And let me tell you, partner, golf and poker were second nature to you. When he would sell you a house, he was better than most. He could even inspect it from pillar to post. Variety is the spice of life, and a sample Hughes spices made your food twice as nice. Steak night at poker camp was a gastropalooza with a gas-powered blender and tequila to booze ya. With help from Gino and Ron, it was too good to be true. A table for two at Cafe Shea Hugh. His legendary brownies would make you scream, Lordy, Lordy. And if you don't believe me, then just go ask Gordy. <laughs> 14 clubs, that's it? Well, not for our man Hugh. Every club has a purpose, so I carry 22. <laughs> he owned the ninth at McRiley, where Lord Mongus noted quite wryly, at long drives, I'm one of the best. It goes a long way, but too often I say, Right postage, wrong address. <laughs> Out on the first tee, it was common to see Ambassador Hugh holding court. He'd have those poor Richards laughing so hard that some would be wetting their shorts. He did not suffer fools lightly, but it was easy to know if Hugh thought you were his friend. He would say your first name and then he would say, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> yes, sir. Very nice, Danny. That's to you. Well done. Good job. I wish you the best.